Welcome to the City Council meeting for May 9, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Councilors, before we start tonight, I'd like to uh, welcome Troop 17 from Prince of Peach uh, Church, uh, Boy Scouts, here uh, working on their citizenship in the community badge with their community member, John White, leading them tonight. And thank you for being here, guys, and uh, I hope we uh, all behave. We have guests. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Item number one. The approval of the City Council minutes of April 25th, 2016. <clears throat> Questions on approval of the minutes. All those in favor? Opposed? The minutes are accepted. Item number two. We have the petition of Bourne Enterprises, Inc., uh, Calvin Bourne, for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 1029 Pearl Street, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, March 29, 2016, hearing assigned May 9, 2016, at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward to the rostrum and give your name. My name is Calvin Bourne of Bourne Enterprises, Inc. Good evening, Mr. Bourne. How are you doing? Uh, any questions? Council Sullivan. Uh, Mr. President, I don't, have any, I don't have any questions for Mr. Bourne. I, I do uh, support this wholeheartedly. As you know, <coughs> the Bourne family has really been uh, icons in the city of Brockton and also in our neighboring town, the town of Easton. I know it's in our good friend, uh, the Ward 3 Councilors. Uh, but I, 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 will, uh, I will tell you that Mr. Bourne has been extremely patient on this, uh, this endeavor. And uh, for full disclosure, uh, two things. Number one, I serve on a hospital board with Mr. Bourne, and uh, he volunteers a lot here in the city of Brockton. And more importantly, when I was a West Little Leaguer, my team was Bourne Transportation, and that was just a few years ago. So, again, I, I do support this. What were they selling, horse and buggies then? Or? <laughs> thank you, Councillor. Mr. Chairman. Councillor Ian Erie. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, if I might. And, and I'll, I'll diddle the same type of comments that uh, my council at large uh, um, has just made. And, and it being located in, in Ward 3 and them having been a part of the business process here in this city for a good, good many years and always a positive um, uh, business as well, I have no problem and no stipulations or anything uh, on this uh, request this evening. So appreciate it and thank you, for, thank you for being a part of Brockton for so many years, Mr. Bourne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Any other questions? Is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, now, uh, is there anyone here in opposition? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Question is on granting the license. All those in favor? Opposed? The license is granted. Thank you, Mr. Thank Bourne. You. Good luck. Item number three. Petition of Eddie A. Wan, trustee for a garage license located at 287 North Montello Street, Brockton, and council March 29, 2016. Hearing is signed for May 9, 2016 at 8 p.m. All the necessary paperwork is on file. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Eddie A. Wan. Good evening, Mr. A. Wan. Good evening. Council Razak, you may President. sit. This, this is a hearing. You can remain seated. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. A1, whose businesses are located in Ward 7, and he's a business owner that's uh, been in good standing with the city of Brockton, and um, he's, he keeps up his businesses very well, and um, I look forward to having him continue doing business in the city of Brockton. So I'm, I definitely am in favor of this. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Any other questions, Councillors? Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? Please, if so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. The question is on granting the license. All those in favor? Opposed? The license is granted. Thank you, Mr. Awan, and good luck. Thank you very much. Item number four. We have the petition of Ron Jewelers for a renewal of secondhand precious metals and gems, license located at 1280 <coughs> Belmont Street. Refer to public safety. Petition of K. Jewelers for renewal of secondhand precious metals and gems located at 200 Westgate Drive, Suite 4A. Refer to public safety. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 2, 2016. 
2016. Accepted and placed on file. Order of the Auditors Committee for a speed of May 2, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Order of the Auditors Committee for a speed of May 3, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development certifying that the City of Brockton has received the Planning and Technical Assistance Grant any amount of $50,000 from the Commonwealth Urban Agenda Program to conduct feasibility studies and to develop business plans for three projects, a restaurant incubator, a co community kitchen food incubator, and a co-work space. No match required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and <coughs> placed on file. We have the appointment of Dietra M. Spitz, 779 Ash Street, as a member of the Brockton Versus Commission for three year term and in the February 2019. Right and referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The appointment is confirmed. Item 13. The appointment of Richard Bath, 38 Frost Street, to replace L. Marasso as a member of the Council on Aging Board for a three year term ending in April 2019 and Council April 25, 2016. Reading for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The appointment is confirmed. Appointment of Robert Graham, 6 Alphonse Road, to replace Petty Goldsmith as a member of the Council on Aging Board for three year term ending April 2019. In Council, April 25, 2016. Reading right Fair the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? He's at. Yes. Barnes. Yes. 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 <coughs> yes. Yes. The appointment is confirmed. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton finds that there is a clear need for an urban renewal plan in order to achieve the approved policy objectives of downtown Brockton. That the City Council approves the boundaries of the downtown urban re revitalization plan as depicted in Map 1-A, Boundaries of Topography. End Council, March 28, 2016. Refer the Committee on Finance, that, reportable, uh, that report is favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All those in favor? Opposed? The amendment is adopted. The question is now on uh, confirmation by roll call vote. Will the please, uh, clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted as amended. Thought that the City Council of the City of Brockton act in pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws hereby approves the Downtown Brockton District Improvement Financing Program, a development program pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws, appending the order approved in 2015, establishing the Downtown Brockton District. In Council, March 28, 2016, ready to refer to the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. That the city of Brockton has been designated as a gateway community by the Commonwealth and that the Commonwealth has implemented the Housing Development Center program to encourage the development of market rate housing and gateway communities through state tax credits to qualify development projects. In Council, March 28, 2016, ready to refer the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 <coughs> yes. 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 
The order is adopted. So that the DPW is authorized to issue one sewer connection to Briarwood Construction, 31 Belmont Street, Southeast at Mass, for the property located at Plot 9, Circle Street, Brockton, in Council April 25th, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the mm. clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Out of the pursuit of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53A and 1 half, City accepts the gifts from Nessa 24 to Aero Environment Model EVSERS non network level 2 single head wall mount electric vehicle charges for use by the Department of Public Works for the two 2015 Nissan Leaf electric vehicles. In accordance with the submitted donation agreement, a copy which is attached here to, in Council April 25th, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. A transfer of $51,051.08 from the personnel services full time, $22,500. Personnel services stipend, $2,418.68. Personnel service part time, $26,000. Personnel service holiday, $132.40. To ordinary maintenance electricity, $1,600. Ordinary maintenance snow removal, $48,301. Ordinary maintenance goods, $1,150.08. In Council April 25th, 2016, <coughs> the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk <coughs> please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Resolved, members of the 21st Century Corp come before a committee of this council to update the council on Rock Stadium <coughs> and the Conference Center. And council March 14, 2016, bearing for the committee on finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2 administration is hereby amended by inserting the following new division in Article 6, Boards, Commissions, <coughs> etc., Division 9, Brockton Commission on Women's Issues. In Council, March 28, 2016. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Questions and on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Pass to a third reading. An ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 11, licenses, permits, and business regulations. Article 14, hours of operations of businesses is hereby amended. In Council, March 28, 2016. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable. Question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Pass to a third reading. Ordinance amending Chapter 8 of the revised ordinance of the City of Brockton by adding a section required commercial premises to provide and maintain weather receptacles. Councilor Mr. President, Azak. I'd like to I'd make a motion to send this back to or, the Ordinance Committee. Second. Motion made and seconded to refer back to the Ordinance Committee. All those in favor? Opposed? Referred back to Ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 19 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 19, Police Department, is hereby amended by adding the following new Article 3, Trust Act, the purpose of which is to increase public confidence of the City of Brockton and its Police Department and to encourage members of the community to work in partnership with the police. Refer to ordinance. Order that the City petitions the General Court for approval under Clause 1 of Section 8 of Article 2 as amended the amendments of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts of an act relative to the appointment of special police officers in the City of Brockton. Refer to finance. 
letter that in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, the City Council <coughs> authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award and the amount of $50,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Urban Agenda Program, the City of Brockton Planning Department Urban Agenda Program Grant Fund to conduct feasible studies and to develop a business plan for the projects, a restaurant incubator, a community kitchen food incubator, and a co-work space, no match required. Refer to finance. Resolved that the executive director of Brockton Interfaith Community and Angel Cosmo be invited to appear before a committee of the council to report on their findings on faith-based concerns addressing the root causes of shootings and other violence in our community. Refer to finance. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege, if I may. You may. Uh, two agenda items. Uh, just uh, a reminder that uh, myself, uh, Council Large Barnes, Rodriguez, and Fowler, we're hosting uh, 10 days from today the second citywide at large meeting. Again, it's May 19th, which is a Thursday evening, 6:15 to 8:15. It's going to be held in the cafeteria at South Middle School. So please, uh, please feel free to join us. And then, uh, on a personal note, I want to wish my youngest a happy fourth birthday. Is this the youngest that uh, hit two home runs yesterday? Yes. yes, yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, Council Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, two announcements here. First of all, I wanted to commend the Diversity Commission. They held up their first full meeting last Thursday night, and they addressed some concerns in the city, and uh, they invite the public to uh, participate, and we'll be seeing a lot more of their activity, and I'm very excited that they're back and part of our community. Also, I want to announce, as uh, many people realize, that the month of May is becoming quite the art month for the city of Brockton, and this is a collaborative with so many groups, including the schools, volunteers, the Fuller Craft, the library, and Enzo Flats, for example, helped kick it off on uh, Friday evening with the art reception with their new art exhibit with the mosaics and uh, again that's going to be open till the beginning of June and the public is invited to attend and this is only one of 25 different events going on in the month. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. President Council Monaghan. Thank you. Uh, I just want to announce tomorrow night, May 10th, we are going to have an ordinance meeting at 6 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Lally. Uh, just some, uh, one announcement. The uh, Safe Streets Task Force uh, will be meeting Wednesday, May 11th from 7 to 8 p.m. at the Arnone School Cafeteria. So uh, anyone, who, uh, anyone who wishes to attend is invited Thank to you. attend. What time is that? Uh, 7 to 8 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor. Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege, please. You may. Uh, this is basically an announcement and an invitation to my colleagues here in the chamber and also the public that's watching us at home. We're in the process of putting together the, um, the final details of a gun buyback program here in the city of Brockton. Uh, the details are still being worked on by the, uh, by the mayor here in the city, uh, but what we have done is selected a date and a place, and it will take place on May 21st at St. Edith Stein Church uh, here in the city of Brockton. We felt that it probably would make more sense to take it away from the police department, away from law enforcement, so that it truly can be a community effort. And I, uh, I'm here begging my colleagues and everybody else in this building to help us uh, come together as a city and help us get the guns off the streets. The summer is right around the corner, so whatever we can to get the guns off the streets in the city of Brockton will be greatly appreciated by all. Uh, again, let's, let's work together and get this done and get everybody together for, for a better uh, <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Do you know what time of day yet? Uh, It'll be from 10 to 2, 10 o'clock in the morning. 2 St. Edith's time. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. That's great. Anyone else? So uh, Councilors, before we adjourn, I spoke with the Mayor and Mr. Condon today. We can expect to have the budget books delivered to our homes by Friday, May 27th. We will have hearings that will give you a whole week to look at the books and uh, make any inquiries you want to. June 6th, 7th, and 8th, we will be here sitting as a finance committee to do the budget. Okay. Uh, for you new counselors, uh, eat dinner before you come and bring <laughs> water because we'll be here probably from 6 or 6.30 till about 10 each of those nights. Okay. And uh, if we need a fourth night, we'll have to do it on Friday night the 10th because I'm out of town on business on the 9th. We haven't needed a fourth night for about eight years, but uh, 
Just to so let you know. So 6th, 7th, and 8th, okay. we'll be here all night, and any of the new councils in particular, if you have questions on the process, feel free to give me a call and explain how we do this and what we can do. But we'll be here, we'll be here all night those nights. So thank you, and that it. Mr. President, the Ward 2 Council will be bring, bringing pizza the first night. Well, he'll bring enough for him knowing yeah, him, yeah. so ah. we'll take care of the rest. Can you recommend favorably? <laughs> Second. We're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>